Good morning, glad you could join us. I'm gonna tell you a story, something that happened, I guess about a year and a half ago. It was my, my last trip to Haiti. And we were, uh, we have, well, we have five main churches. Now we've got actually, I guess, three more churches. So it's, it's grown. But this is the most urban church. It's called Bas Aviation. It's close to the airport, hence the aviation, I think, that translates across French, Creole, and English. So we have a sponsor child there, which means there's a little girl that, that we send money down and it helps with uniforms and education and the feeding program. And uh, her name's Rodisha. And we had seen her uh, two years earlier and uh, we'd met her and we probably gave her some things. You know, that's kind of Heidi's department, you know, as far as what to give a six-year-old girl or an eight-year-old girl. You know, Heidi's just really good at that stuff. So we were in Boss Aviation uh, a year and a half ago. And so we we're gonna meet Rodisha. And so Heidi had all these gifts for her, and I know she had a dress, and, and there's this stuffed animal that um, the fur was like so soft, I, I'd still be interested in one. I didn't really want to give it to Rodisha. But we gave all the gifts, and then you know you give your phone or somebody takes a picture or whatever, and that's when the unexpected happened. Because it can be kind of an awkward thing. Here are these two white people that come from the United States and I can't understand what they're saying and, and they're giving me things, but it, it can be awkward. She's, she's, she's just a sweet little girl. She gives me a kiss and I'm just like, wow, I, I can't remember the last time anybody kissed me, like other than my wife, that, I mean, the grandkids do once in a while, you know, like kind of like you give your grandkid a gift and then Mom or dad says, give Papa Paul a kiss, and then they give you a kiss, okay. Uh, but it was just the sweetest thing. And then the next thing we knew, it seemed like she was there with the dress on, so she ran home, she changed into the, the dress, it fit, it was obvious by the smile on her face, she loved it. So then we asked her an interpreter, well, could we, could we, you know, her house must be nearby, could we greet her parents? And so they led us in this urban thing down these alleys and all this stuff and got to meet her, her mom and her dad and see where she lived and just helps us to know better just what her world is and how to pray for her. And later that day, we were distributing food in a rural area with Jock Lynn. Jock Lynn's like our local director down there. He does a great job. And we got to this, I mean, we were talking like wood huts, um, dirt floor. And this woman had to be about 78 years old. And when we arrived with these food packages, she just kissed all of us. Just out of the blue, she kissed us. So, and there's a possibility I, had, I got a kiss from a third person that day. I won't reveal the age of that person. We'll leave that out of it. But I was thinking about it, like, what's a kiss? I mean, so Rhodesia doesn't know English and I really don't know Creole worth, worth anything. But it's kind of like you use your mouth, the thing that you normally communicate with, but instead of using words, you communicate in another way. And I know like when I kiss the grandkids or sometimes I'll come up to Heidi, sometimes from behind so she doesn't see it coming, and I just kiss her on top of the head or I kiss one of the grandkids. And I remember saying this to a friend of mine, uh, Karen Hoffman. She's so identified with it. It's like when you do that, you're just like saying, like everything good that I possibly could have in me, I just want to give to you. And it's without a word. I was just thinking about sort of like the anatomy of what a kiss is and how I don't think a kiss would ever just evolve for scientific purposes. It's such a unique human expression. There's a song by U2 called Yahweh. It, it could be sung like as a worship song. And the lyrics go like this, take these hands, teach them what to carry. Take these hands, don't make a fist. Take this mouth, so quick to criticize. Take this mouth. Give it a kiss. How about that? You know, Jesus was betrayed by a kiss from Judas, and that's, that's not what a kiss is for. But I love that concept that God would kiss us, that we would know his favor that goes beyond words. You can't, you can't even wrap your mind around it. But yeah, you know, a kiss like that, it affects the quality of the day. I know it did with Rudisha, and also by this 78-year-old woman, Kiss somebody today, whether it's a physical kiss, it can be through prayer, just give someone the absolute best that you have. I love, it's like five times in the New Testament it says, greet one another with a holy kiss. God bless you.